Gracie's doing fine since you asked. A bet. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. No. The two of you alone in the Alps. We're no. not sleeping together. <laughs> what? Ah. Did he get chewed off in your last case or what? Oh, Almost. Oh, I don't know. We've come close a couple of times, but I get all freaked out or something. You're starting to worry me, but Because I think look, about your crumpy Grace butt. Is a doll, but she's living with me. If I slept with her and then I changed my mind, what would I do? Throw her out? Why don't you huh. just marry her, Nat? <laughs> oh, God. I forgot. You're allergic. Yeah. Even if I did want to get married, I'm not sure it would be Gracie. Aww. She's like a chair, you know? So you can see this really great chair. And you like the chair, and your mother likes the chair, and everyone says you should buy the chair. But you know that if you take it home, everything else would have to go. You know, like the chair is Louis the Fourteenth, and the rest of your place is Ikea. Well, but nothing wrong with that. I hate to say it, but you better start cooking or get out of the kitchen. Because I'm you getting keep there. Farting around, and somebody might just beat you to it. What, like you? I think not. Grace can't stand you. Mose, do you know anything about the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail? No, not really. Why? What do you know about the Holy Grail? Me? Not much. Hmm. About this shot and Jaeger thing. You know, we had that big case last year. Yeah, I seen your book, The Brutal Beast. God, what a sick freaking man you got. No, it happened. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, since then, Grace and Gerda have been getting all organized on me. Do you think Gracie it's Fujitsu had a sex scene with a wolf in, in that book? Supposed <laughs> to help when they are in the field. Of course, I'll never use it, but I can't tell her that. Uh huh. You'll be using it all yeah, right. I noticed you're looking a little tone there, huh? Huh? Yeah, I've been working out. Don't look Grace like it. says I need to be in shape to chase the bad guys. I point to you as an example in the contrary. <laughs> then she points out that you never get the bad guys. <laughs> oh, ha ha. Uh, Glad to see you haven't lost your butt stupid sense of humor. So, but you have to you lose that butt. Did you ever find out uh, how your family got into this whole thing in the first place? No. no. The journals go way back to 900 AD, and it looks like it was an old family tradition even then. I don't know. Grace found a few other groups of shadow hunters, and they seem pretty decent. Hmm. There's a whole ashram in India where they train monks for this kind of thing. Grace has been bugging me about going. Why don't you? Shit. I'm not a Lost Horizons kind of guy. <laughs> I see what you mean. Well, no point in getting all serious about it. Screw you, mostly. <laughs> no, I'm sure you can all kind of hear that scraping noise. It's coming from outside, and I'll explain it once the scene's so, over. So, how do you find out about this tour, anyway? I read about it in a travel magazine. A travel magazine? Yeah. Since when do you read travel magazines? Since well, now. Like you're the only one that can go running off to Europe? I'm pretty cosmopolitan myself, you know. <laughs> Cosmospolutin is more like it. Oh, ha ha. Why don't you go write some dialogue, smartass? Get it out of your system. <laughs> I think I just will. <sighs> so, what about the treasure of Rand Le Chateau? You have a theory? Not really. Madeline says everybody has a theory. Oh, that Madeline. Oh, oh what a babe. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You never said what you think about the treasure. Is that why you came to <clears throat> find the treasure? I don't know about that. Find out about it, maybe. Sure, it, it, it seemed like a lark. But what do you... Speaking of Madeline, now, don't you just mm. love that kind of tough girl thing she's got going? Man, Ooh. I wasn't speaking about Madeline. I was talking about the treasure. Oh, <laughs> nice area, though, isn't it? Uh, you like to keep changing the um subject, don't you, Mose? Now, you didn't see the kidnappers in the area last night, did you? Hmm. No. The guys you saw on the train both had long hair pulled back in ponytails, and they had this trunk with air hole. Yeah. Nope. I haven't seen anything like that since I got here. <laughs> since you got here? What about before you got here? Oh my god. 
Now that's what I miss about living alone. Pure, unrepentant sloth. It, it's shocking. Oh, it's, oh, it's revolting. Oh my god. It's, it's the blazer. God, is he still wearing that gold blazer? I can't believe it hasn't fallen to shreds by now. Maybe it's Must a be brand all those one. tough polyester fibers. Blah. I'm gonna take off. You wanna look around with me this afternoon? This afternoon? Nah. Crumple butt. I got some things to do. What could you have to do? You're on vacation. Oh, uh, I brought some work with me. Yeah, you know, you know, a cop's work is never done. <laughs> never started even. <laughs> oh, uh, by uh. the way, would you uh, mind not uh, mentioning to anyone that I'm a cop? What? People just get kind of weird. You know, I want to be an average Joe for once. Come on. Mose, I've got news for you. You can't get any more average. Nah, that's a all weird right, shape his body right. is. Mum's the word. Thanks. I'll see you around? Yeah. Yeah. See ya. Good God, the designers of this game. See? The, the designers of this game just have no idea about proportions. Like, this guy has no butt. And it. Oh, it's just terrible. But you see, this? there's a glass here. Cool table. Check out Oops. those lines. Not that. I want the glass. It was a glass. And a lich in the secret, which you probably guess considering he's been stalking us mostly. Emilio Barza was there with a glass against the, um, <coughs> oh, sorry about that, against the door. And it was me going, rrr, rrr, while we were having a conversation. Because he was listening in. Because he was a bastard. You know, as they are. Let's see, is anyone in here? Oh, Boo Kelly and the ladies. I just talked to him in the church. Oh, fine. Hell, ladies. Hey, lady. You, lady. Hi, ladies. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight? How's lunch? It's really quite good. Mm. Don't let the staff hear you say that. Oh. A bit of complaining keeps them on their toes. Lily, you know it's true, darling. Thanks darling. for the advice. Alright. That was thrilling. Uh, Jean. And Jean's in the corner and the silver spoon. I'm in a singing mood. Little Jean and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Jean, I don't know when. I don't, I've got no idea. But we'll get together then. Woo! True to four. I think we'll also call that an episode. True to four p.m. Day one. Oh, dad one. Whatever. So we'll call that an episode, and um, I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-de-bye!